Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to What's In Your Drawers. Again, brought to you by, by Viper World. Um, Viper bedding is just the premium, UK premium coconut bedding that is just completely dominating the UK now. If you haven't tried it, get over to Viper World on Instagram, get over to the website, go and give them a follow on Instagram, and also order your block today. If you have got distributors locally to you, pop along, go and pick up a block, and go and chat some snakes. If you want to know where your distributors are, get onto the Viper World Instagram and it will list all the available um, distributors. The links are in the description box below, guys, so feel free, click on the link and get yourself over there. So, let's look at today's video. Today's video is a follow on from the last video, and, and we're talking about Ultramel and the HET influence on a particular combo. Now we're going the opposite way. We're talking about a Pastel Leopard Ultramel Poss Het Clown. Now this girl is in shed. Again, this is the sister to the other one. Again, I'm holding them back, you know, so we'll, we'll definitely prove it out one way or another. But, but this girl for me is a fantastic combo. For those who don't know, Pastel and Ultramel, I feel work very, very well. It's a bit like, you know, Pastel and Puzzle. You kind of need the pastel in the puzzle to help enhance the colors, and you kind of need that as well in the Ultramel. And again, as you can see, the leopard is giving it such a wacky pattern. And we've got this beautiful blushing coming up. Now, she's Poss Het Clown. I'd love her to be Het Clown, and I think she may be. She's very bright when she's not in shed, and like I said, she's in shed at the moment. Um, very bright normally in shed. Um, when she's out to shed, sorry. But again, there's just a few indications that sort of make me think that she's Het Clown because we know uh, Het Clown combos are, they tend to be a lot more brighter. Now this girl, as I said before, Ultramel does give you quite a bit of blushing in and around the animal. Um, but the overall, the, the, the Het side of things I'm looking on this is that she's brighter. Now obviously we can test for Het Clown um, over in the States and I think possibly in Europe. I'm not sure by the time this video is released whether we've got it in the UK, but that's one thing I will be doing is testing whether or not she's head claim via the shed testing process. So again, she's a female, so we'll just grow her up. We'll breed her to a powerful clown combo if I haven't found out whether she's head clown or not. I'll breed her to a powerful clown for, uh, male in the future. Um, probably like a bang clown combo and we will produce some stuff probably in fact I'll probably breed her to the uh, red stripe bang clown that I featured uh, a while back on this series so again we can prove her out one way or another the very worst we'll get obviously 100% double heads but I really feel she will prove out and like I said we will do a shed test on her to see whether or not so guys What's your thoughts? Do you think she's Het Clown? Is there any markers that you guys know of that you can sort of say, hey Gav, look at this, sometimes that's a marker. Uh, I know some people have said about tail pattern and stuff down there, but oh, I don't know. I've got some 100% Het Clowns that don't have that pattern. So it's kind of, in, sort of in, it's not inclusive or seclusive. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's not conclusive of that. So. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think she's Het Clown? Or do you think she's just a fantastic looking combo and she's just giving off that coloration or that brightness? But for now guys, if you're working with Ultramel, drop me a comment in the comment box below. Let me know what co Ultramel combos you're working with and let's talk Ultramel. But I hope you've enjoyed this video guys. I hope you're enjoying your season. I hope everything's coming to fruition. But for now, Hope you're all well, take care, and I'll see you guys on the next one.